when we're starting to do an environment, we'll receive a concept from our concept artist. And they do this elaborate, crazy drawing that looks really cool. And then from that, design already has their design laid out. It's basically like a sheet. You just bunch of blocks and boxes that already, gameplay's already in there, it already works. From there, we go over it and we start building our level with it. You know, we layer on geometry, the hills, mountains, whatever's gonna be in there, and incorporate all that into the sheet so it all plays together nice and make it look pretty. Every corner in the game is pretty much unique. It's, it's handcrafted, and that's the difference. You look at other games, it's an assembly line, it's mass produced. They'll build a crate and then you'll see that exact crate hundreds of times throughout the game. You don't get that in God of War. Good people here. Um, everybody's really talented, super talented, but nobody has an ego or anything like that, so it's great. Well. <laughs> so what's gratifying for me is uh, coming in every day and actually liking the job that I'm doing. You know, I bore my girlfriend with, you know, how I'm gonna, you know, make this sweet piece of metal like even sweeter. I enjoy talking about it, she hates it. The biggest challenge is getting it done on time. You lose sense of what starts to look into you and you actually need other people's eyes to tell that. And I think working with a team of guys that are always open to giving you advice and telling you, hey, this looks great, or hey, maybe this could be worked on a little bit, really makes the art come out to look a lot better. I'm gonna show you an example of how we do collision. So here's the basic level that we're working on right now. And then we have the stuff we call sheet which is the real basic collision stuff that Kratos walks and runs on. So this is actually built by a designer. This gives us the basic places where he needs to run and defines kind of the gameplay spaces. And then we build our art over that. So what we then have to do at a later point in development is go in and make sure there's a cylinder around here and there's a cylinder around here and that we make sure that we put in little divots into this collision so that he doesn't get stuck on things or walk through things. And then here, you can see where he is walking, there is collision. But if you look carefully right now, because the sheet isn't actually finished, his feet move through little places in the ground and things like that. And because uh, like there's wall, we have collision right there, he can't go through this wall, but we don't actually have any collision on this pillar, so he's gonna go weep and walk right through. So eventually that's what we'll have to do is make sure that all that stuff is in there and that he can't walk through these pillars. And that's what Collision is. This is concept by Cecil Kim and it's the exterior of the top of Mount Olympus with the Zeus statue there. And that's where you're gonna be fighting Zeus. And this is another piece that I asked Cecil to do for me. And it's a top down of the ground. That's when concept art really comes in handy because we have to do so much ground that Kratos is transitioning over that it's really nice to get some fresh ideas and I'll take his drawing here and then start fleshing it out and coming up with crazy marble and gold and he had this cool feather idea. You get dirt and stuff picking in between the feathers, adding, I guess, an extra layer of filth to the world. You build it clean first and then I'm gonna go in here and destroy it and make it look like a fresh battle has happened in it. <laughs> Here's an example of a piece in Tartarus. This is a gate that basically raises up on these chains from the side. This is a pretty detailed piece from what we would normally get from a concept artist. We'll get, you know, big, big vista shots, and then if it's an important piece, we'll get something like this to sort of detail out what it's, what it should look like. So this is what I'll get. My first step after that is to figure out these shapes in 3D. I'll create something like this. This is just a wireframe, you know, just like any video game. You know, nothing too special about it. If we bring this into a high poly modeling program to really add a lot of the detail and like the grit and the texture. So this works a lot like real clay. You can see how I can just sort of work over it and obviously not be that sloppy, but that allows me to get all this detailing and stuff in. Once we get it to that point, we end up getting all that high poly detail as a texture. And you can't really see it too well on here, but I brought it up on this screen, you can see how a lot of that high detail gets transferred on there. That's really kind of one of the big cornerstones of all this next-gen stuff. This is one of the Hades levels. You can see right here, it consists of a large room and then a series of halls, with little torch things in there. This is pre-lit, this is just the polygons. In this game, we are pushing a lot of polygons. The environments are 
at least this one is probably twice the size of a God of War 2 level in terms of polygons and probably four times larger than textures. If you look at the screen here, this is the level after it's been initially lit. You see we have a nice bloom going on now, which we just got. So you can see the softness that you have along all the lights before lighting used to be really harsh. The bloom just gives it kind of this real world foggy effect. Just gives the scene a nice softness to it. Gives it kind of a cinema quality. Eventually his lighting will match the environments and it'll look really nice. What I've been working on lately is building the environment for a movie trailer. So it's been a little different than building a regular environment. I've imported the camera and I scrub through what the camera's gonna see and I just make sure my environment fills in all the gaps. This is the base layer of what will ultimately be a pretty dense forest. This is constantly what I do. I'll just scrub through the animation, see where the camera goes, make sure I have enough detail in certain areas. If I don't have enough detail or if you see obvious seams, I'll either cover those up or I'll consider how fast the camera's actually flying through this and will it all be blurred out anyway and I won't worry about it. This scene is a little more detailed than a regular environment would be just because it is a rendered movie. So that's the end of this camera. And then it, then it continues on. This is the concept that we get, and basically this is an overall of the entire level. It's a big cave, and you have these rock pillars. You got your cave with the, the waterfalls. You know, it has little details in there, but it gives you the whole picture. You get your rocks, the greenery, the waterfalls, and then the architectural bridges. This is basically the sheet that we get from the uh, designers, and that's, basic, that's the basic layout that we start with. And from there, we start building the actual rock and geometry on top of the sheet. You have gameplay that you can go along with as you're building your levels to see exactly where the camera views are going to be and what you need to build out. Here's an example of where I start. I have all these rocks. This is going to be a whole rock level. You have a massive level on scale compared to any of the other ones we did in God of War 1 and God of War 2. And it's all very detailed rock geometry. It takes a long time to cut all this stuff in and make it look pretty. Here we have the original concept art that was for the grate that I designed and modeled in 3D. So here in ZBrush, obviously, I added some rope detail. Whether it was a rope or not in the concept, it looked as close. I tried to get as close as possible, so I just assumed it would be a rope. So that's what I did here, and obviously we have some of the nails going inside. This is what it came out to be. We knew we wanted a different color than what we had in the original concept, so you notice the color is a little different. We could actually bring it up to the PS3, and we can take a view of what it would look like in-game. So back here is like the original model, and then here is the detailed version of that. This is one of the pieces of concept art for the Olympus hub at the top of Mount Olympus. I am in the process of arting it. You can see a lot of stuff is still just the gray blocking pieces, but starting to get some of the detail. Pretty much the way they have our tools set up, anything I build here, I can within reason quickly uh, send it over to the development kit. I can send the entire level over so I can run around and play and interact with the environment. I can also take chunks of the environment, send them over just so I can kind of view a specific section that I'm working on. Still a lot of uh, the gray areas I need to go in and fill in the details. You can see this down here still all needs to be done. This is kind of our art sheet version, which kind of block in the basic shapes and spacing and everything. These things we put on our level, they're scale versions of Kratos that we use just to make sure we're keeping our scale correct when we're building the stuff so details don't get too out of whack. 